Hey folks, happy Monday to you. We continue our pastor's devotional using our May prayer calendar and the uh, missionary organization that we are praying for uh, today is the New Bethlehem Community Center in Augusta, Georgia. Um, and uh, this one's called the New Bethlehem Community Center. The original Bethlehem Community Center um, that this one grew out of uh, Kind of an, an uh, interesting organization begun in 1911 by a deaconess who was appointed there um, through the uh, Methodist Episcopal Church, uh, the Women's Missionary Society. And she went there to start a social settlement for uh, African Americans. So in the South, in 1911, um, ministry from the denomination that was targeting um, African Americans um, and uh, beginning some outreach to uh, that population. And so through the years, this new Bethlehem Community Center has been a number of different things and, um, and had sort of target audiences. And, and today... Uh, it uh, continues to provide all kinds of services, social services, food, you know, clothing, shelter, all kinds of services to a number of different underserved, uh, underserved populations. And so uh, just a, another one of these organizations um, started by a woman, um, a, a United Methodist or a Methodist at the time. There was no United Methodist yet. Um reaching out to vulnerable populations, and they continue to do that. Um, turn your Bibles to Genesis chapter 18. Genesis 18. Genesis is the uh, first book of the Bible, so we're way back in the beginning. And uh, this is Abraham and Sarah, a story about them. Genesis chapter 18, verse 1. The Lord appeared to Abraham by the oaks of Mamre as he sat at the entrance of his tent in the heat of the day. He looked up and saw three men standing near him. When he saw them, he ran from the tent entrance to meet them and bowed down to the ground. He said, My Lord, if I find favor with you, do not pass by your servant. Let a little water be brought and wash your feet and rest yourselves under the tree. Let me bring you a little bread that you may refresh yourselves. And after that, you may pass on since you have come to your servant. So they said, do as you have said. And Abraham hastened to the tent to Sarah and said, make ready quickly three measures of choice flour. Knead it and make cakes. Abraham ran to the herd and took a calf, tender and good, and gave it to the servant who hastened to prepare it. Then he took curds and milk and the calf and he had prepared and he set it before them and he stood by them under the tree while they ate. Now, this is a story in, in which uh, you, we, the, this story is famous for uh, these three people um, are going to inform Abram, Abraham and Sarah that they're going to have a child and they're uh, old and you know beyond childbearing years and Sarah laughs and that's really what this story is known for. But what I want you to see is the way in which the strangers were treated. Um, it, 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 when you read it, it, so he doesn't know who they are. They're just strangers. And, and he is going, Abraham is going out of his way to welcome these folks as if they have something special for him. Right now in the culture where we live, it's really the opposite. So um, the way that Abram, Abraham was acting here is that if these people, if these three men stayed with him for a while, that he would be blessed. We think of it the other way around, that if I'm if I stay somewhere with someone else as a as their guest, then I'm blessed because they've provided hospitality to me. But notice how this culture was different. This culture was different. And what what they understood is that the stranger was a blessing to you and your house when they stayed with you or stopped or were cared for because they were bringing something to you. 
right? They too are children of God. They have gifts. They, they have the presence of God uh, within them. And so when they visit you, you get to sort of feel, to know, to be with that other presence of God. So to provide hospitality means you're blessed by those who you provide for. And if we thought that way, wouldn't it change the way that we understand all kinds of underserved, underprivileged populations? Wouldn't it change mission work itself? I mean, in so many places, we, we are blessed. Right? In so many places, we think of ourselves as the ones who go and do the blessing. How different would it be if we understood that every time we are in ministry to, one of, to, to anybody, but one of these underserved populations, that, that it's a great blessing for us to be in ministry to them, like the New Bethlehem Community Center is, because they have some blessing from God that they're going to share with us. Interesting way to think about it. Interesting way to think about hospitality. I encourage you today to consider when you meet others, when you meet others, exactly who are you meeting? Are you meeting the divine presence that lies within them? You never know. God bless. Have a great day.